Greetings, Webbies. Your uninstall process is often equally as important as your install process. I'm going to demonstrate how to uninstall XAMPP from the root of the C drive. I'll start, and you can see I have two drives on this computer, but I want to go, as I said, to the root of the C drive. So under this PC, I click the arrow, I come down, I locate my drives, I click on the C drive. This could be any drive on yours, including a flash drive. And I see it's generally alphabetical. I'm going to double click on XAMPP. If you're taking a course or uploading files, you may very well have work in progress saved inside your htdocs folder. Before you uninstall, be sure to remove that folder so you do not lose your work. At least save a copy before you proceed with this process. I'm going back to the root of XAMPP. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to locate my uninstall.exe file. Now, sometimes your file extensions are not showing up. I'll show you what that looks like. And although you can look to the right side and see that it's an application file, when you're looking for an executable file, it helps to confirm that it is actually a .exe file. So you can come into View and you can click File Name Extensions. I'm going to scroll down and I can see uninstall.exe, not to be confused with uninstall.dat. So I want to make sure I'm going to double click on this uninstall.exe small file icon. Now the uninstall process will begin. The screens you get may vary slightly depending on what else you have going on in the settings on your particular version. And sometimes, especially if you're uninstalling from a flash drive, this will take a while. Now you'll get the prompt that says, do you want to uninstall XAMPP and all of its modules? And you'll click yes. Once in a while a screen hides in the background, as I can see that's the case here can be deceiving because you see some of them in front of the screen for a while and then they might hide. So if things seem to stop, lower whatever screens you have open. This is reminding me that I might have something inside the htdocs folder. You don't want to lose your files that, you're, that are in progress that you have not yet uploaded or turned in or used, but I've already removed what I need, so I'm going to click yes. While these processes are taking place, be patient. It's a good idea not to be fiddling around with other programs in the background. Sometimes we can't resist that temptation, but to make sure that this process completes fully and successfully, we don't want to put any strain on that or perhaps even miss a screen that we need to select an option. An installation complete. I always restart my computer when that process is finished for the purpose of creating this video, I'm going to stop before I do that. But I encourage you, anytime you uninstall something, reboot your computer. If you're uninstalling it from a flash drive, go ahead and properly remove the flash drive from your computer before you proceed. This is another video in our XAMPP for Newbie series, Uninstalling XAMPP. Hope this has been useful and have a great day.